Hello viewers, this is IT System Admin and Information Technology Learning Tutorial Channel for you. Today in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix Microsoft Edge opens automatically in Windows 10 computer. Sometimes it becomes very important for you, so don't forget to watch full video. Are you frustrated with Microsoft Edge automatically open every time you start your Windows 10 computer? Don't worry, we have got you covered in this comprehensive tutorial. We will guide you through the step-by-step -step process of fixing this annoying issue. I'm going to show you the first way. Click on Start. Now click on settings, click on accounts. Now click on sign in options. Now scroll down. Use my sign in into the automatically finish setting up my device after an update or restart. Okay, now turn it off. Now close settings. This is the first way and hope it will solve your issue. If your problem is still purchased, go for the second way. Right click on search, open run. In run type, shell, clone, startup, startup, and then click on OK. In startup program, just delete the Microsoft is shortcut. A close file explorer. Now I'm going to show you the third way. Right click on taskbar. Click on task manager. Click on startup. And look, Microsoft is, is on a startup task and it is enabled. You need to disable it. Okay, now it is disabled. And you can disable Microsoft is update also. Right click on it and click on disable. Okay, now Microsoft is will not run in a startup. Close task manager. Now I'm going to show you the fourth way. Click on start, click on settings. Now click on apps. Click on default apps. Click on Microsoft Edge and select Google Chrome as default browser. Click on switch anyway. Close settings. Now I'm going to show you the fifth and last way. Right click on start. Click on run. Type app data, now click on OK, click on local, now click on packages, 
Now I scroll down. Hello, this one, Microsoft dot Microsoft is underscore eight wiki B three B eight B B W E. Open it. Click on SC. Now click on Microsoft is. Now click on user. Click on default. Now click on recovery. Click on active. Now select all files from here and just delete all, click on delete. Files has been deleted. Now close File Explorer. Now click on Start. Click on Power. Then click on Restart to restart your computer. After restarting your computer, hope your problem has been solved. This is all for today. Hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Keep watching for next tutorial. Thank you very much.